today's video is going to be breaking down how to play Draft Champions in NFL 16. Uh, for those of you yes. that are new to the YouTube channel, I want to go ahead and welcome you to our community here. And our community uh, here uh, serves to help you get better at Madden NFL 16. Uh, my name is Cody, and uh, what I just want to encourage you guys with, if there's any questions or any things that you have to do uh, that have to do with this video yes. that you want to address, make sure you leave those in the comments. But other than that, guys, I'm going to get in and do some Draft Champions gameplay for you because I haven't really talked about the mode much. To be honest, I haven't really played it much, but I've been following the Madden Challenge, and I really wanted to kind of give you guys uh, some footage here just to kind of talk a little bit about, a little bit about why uh, this is such a uh, a great mode in terms of you know getting you better at Madden NFL 16, and I really think that this has some weight. Uh, I'm kind of skeptical at Draft Champions. To be quite honest, I really hated it at first, and... Um, since then, I've been getting into it a little bit more, and uh, I just really wanted to, you know, make a video about it and talk about it with you guys because I think there's some really cool strategies with the drafting and things that that I would like to get into. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna we're in the ranked head-to-head, -head, and we're just gonna draft our team here, and then in our next video we're gonna show you uh, a full gameplay. Okay. So with that in mind, guys, if this isn't kind of your video, what I would recommend is going to that uh, description below and checking out and seeing if there's any content in there that can help you. If you're not looking to get better with draft champions, we can help you with some other facet. But other than that, guys, let's go ahead and hop in. All right, so playbooks are important. Uh, main reason this is important is because, it's, in my opinion, this is the most important decision. So we have the Minnesota Vikings playbook here. We have the Cleveland Browns playbook here, and we have the Houston Texans playbook. And what I'm going to recommend uh, in this situation is to, you, is to utilize the uh, Cleveland Browns playbook. And the reason why is because it's very good for competitive play. Personally, I really like the Minnesota Vikings playbook as well. Um, so this is kind of a, actually a really difficult decision for me which one to go with. I really don't love, love either of these, uh, but I really... I kind of want this Minnesota Vikings. And I'm, I'm going to go ahead and take it. I'm going to take the Minnesota Vikings playbook and uh, show you some of the stuff that I've been working on from it. So we're going to take Minnesota. Okay, so... So we have our base team here. Now this is actually really cool. What you want to do first is at least look at base team. So as you can see here, we have uh, at this bottom of the screen, we have our corners, are, all of our players are coming up here. So I have Aaron Ross, Carroll, Lawson, Jones, Nick, Jones, Williams, Bequette, Jones, Wilson. And you want to see if there's any players that are useful to you. Now, it's always useful to go to mudhead.com. If you guys don't know, I'll leave a link in the description. You can go to mudhead.com, go into the playbook base. And uh, you can check out all these players just by typing them into the search engine, and you'll have access to all of the ratings. Now, I think this is just a really good thing to do. Uh, I know when I was watching the Madden Challenge, one of the things that I really, uh, I really, really appreciated was that Lights Out uh, from MaddenDaily.com, a channel that you guys probably already know about. And if you don't, we'll leave a description in the, below. Uh, or a link in the description below. But Lights Out likes to go through every single facet of his team, look it up, make sure that he knows all of the ratings. And uh, to save you guys the time, I'm not going to do that today, but I highly, 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 highly recommend it. Uh, I think it's just so, so important when looking at the Draft Champions team to get the best bang for your buck. You have to look at the ratings, and you have to, t you have to compare and, and look and just try to see what you have. So, uh, for example here uh the 73 overall aaron ross is a base set card he comes in with 85 speed 77 man and uh 73 zone coverage so really not going to get anything from him there um and then you know what i like to do is i just like to go down the list so then we'll look at carol and um and you'll see here we pull him up and uh, when you look at him you'll see nolan carroll is a 71 overall corner base card speed 73 76 coverages and you just would go through that for every single player and i'll save you guys that for today but i i would like to go through and talk about the best uh silver players that you can get uh but anyways uh, oh and another thing you can do is you can actually compare so square here i can compare them to the players that are already on my team as you can see i can go through and look at all of them um, you know it's just important in my you see and, and then if you hit R1, R1. It's going to pull up this section, and it'll give you a look into what you have here. So some of the key stats. And, and it's always good to do this. Um, so, But anyways, guys, this is something I recommend doing. As you see, our base team so far are really not looking too good. We have Jones, who is decent. Uh, Bequette, who is decent. Lawson's kind of decent because he's got 86 speed. Uh, but that's pretty much, I mean, we don't have a ton of great players here. 
Um, but then the next thing that I want to do is I want to go. Okay, so at this selection right here. So for the for the best bang for your buck, I'm going to recommend taking Tank Carradine. I think Tank Carradine is one of the best pass rushing uh, defensive uh, ends in the entire game, let alone, uh, especially for like a budget player, but especially in draft champions. Um, Beignet, Ben Wickery here, only, he has 39 zone coverage, so if you're in a zone coverage, you might put him at safety. Uh, Demario Davis, in my opinion, doesn't have anything special, so we're going to take Tank Carradine. Okay, moving into number two, we have some really, really, some really good players here. Uh, Lance Briggs, the reason he is good, he has really high block shed, but as you can see, his speed is really lacking. Uh, uh, Rob Ninkovich, nothing really crazy that stands out to me, in my opinion. So what, what I'm going to recommend man. is taking Jason Verre. The reason is he has 90 speed, 88 man, and 80 stone. He's going to be a really, really good slot corner uh, that we're going to be able to use. Maybe even in a one. Uh, okay, so next up on on this, we have Jordan Reed, Arius Wright, and Lucas McKelvin. Uh, I'm going to recommend taking Jordan Reed because he's the only tight end uh, that you're going to find that's like a gold-level tight end that really can do something for you. Now, as you can see, our offense kind of popped up here at the bottom. And so it's really important to kind of look at your players. And, man, i got a really pathetic base team because I don't have anyone that I really want. Um, so uh, we're going to pretty much have to draft everyone. We don't have a... So, like, for example, what you want to do is you go to the compare screen, and now you can see all your offensive players. You can also see them at the lower screen, but this is a way that you can compare their ratings. So here you see James Hanna has 90 speed, uh, Zach Miller, like some of the key stats, you know, and then you can look at the, at the wide receivers as well and all this kind of stuff that you can look at. So that it, it might be, it's just really good for your, uh, uh, your, you know, your, your psyche, your draft, and, and all that. Now, you, you see this, Lotus McKelvin, nothing really special here. Jarius Wright, the only person really have good route running, in my opinion, route yeah. one is one of the most important yeah. stats when it comes to champions. So we're going to go with Jordan Reed. All right, moving into round four. Here you see we have the opportunity to take uh, DeAndre Hopkins, who's a really decent receiver, got 88 route running, which is really good. Uh, we the opportunity to take Michael Bennett. Uh, his injuries are all right. And we have the opportunity to take Brandon Graham. So, really, the comparison for me boils down to Brandon Graham versus Michael Bennett. Uh, he's a defensive minded guy, and I think it's actually more important to draft defensively than offensively. So, uh, Brandon Graham, 88 block shed. Bennett has 80 block shed. Graham has 90 hip power. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to look into his comparison here to see his power moves. Uh, it doesn't even show it. That kind of sucks. So we're actually going to look him up on Mutthead real quick just to, to check, take, just to take a look, look here at his power moves because they don't show them on the game menu. And that's like why Mutthead.com, in my opinion, is such a phenomenal resource to, to just be able to look at all the players, be able to go through and just look at every rating yeah. right at the tip of your fingers. And it's really easy to use. In my opinion, guys, check out Mutthead.com if you haven't. It's such an essential essential thing. If you're either going to be in Mutt or you're going to be in Draft Champions, you need to be on Mutthead.com. Uh, in my opinion, they're great. So, Brandon Graham's power moves here uh, is 95. So, we compare that to Bennett, who has 93 power moves. As you can see clearly, Brandon Graham, the only place he's lacking is strength compared to Michael Bennett. And he makes up for that in so many other areas. Uh, block shed, he, he is also even better. So, we're going to go with Brandon Graham here and add him to the defense. He's probably going to check him down to a defensive lineman. All right, so, so we've got some really, really good players here uh, coming up here with this round. We've got Tyrone Crawford, Dante Hightower, Ronald Darby. This Ronald Darby card is really, really good. If you're going to be playing man-to-man -man coverage, he's a phenomenal man coverage corner. Tyrone Crawford, as you can see, there's nothing really special that he's going to be able to do for you. So we're going to kind of disregard him. He does have some good speed as a defensive tackle, but that's pretty much it. You know, nothing crazy that he's going to do. We'll look at some of his physical attributes, as you can see. And it's nothing, nothing too special for me. Uh, when you just donk the high tower card, uh, he does some weight because he's he can do a lot for you. But in my opinion, especially in draft champions, it's important to have those man coverage corners. We're going to take Ronald Darby with this selection. All right, so you've got some opportunity for the offensive side. We've got uh, Matthews. We also have Greg Jennings and Jason Kelsey. Okay. So Jason Kelsey is a really good run blocking center. So that's what's important to note is that you know you do need a good offensive lineman in this game. But our running backs, honestly, they just aren't good enough. We don't have the Christian Michael or any of the good silver players. So we're going to have to probably take Ryan Matthews here. 
Um, because Greg Jennings, quite frankly, he doesn't do anything good enough. 84 route running is mediocre at best. Uh, his speed is only 86. Uh, you know, I'm going to go with Ryan Matthews because he's going to give me, uh, you know, a percent back that I can get away with uh, for the most part. Honestly, I keep going back and forth. I'm going to pro actually, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to go with Greg Jennings, and here's why. I'm going to hope that I can get a better running back at a later point. Uh, and I'm going to have Greg Jennings just in case, uh, you know, I can't get a good receiver. So we're going to go with that. Now, moving forward here, we, we have, have some good players, players Bud Dupree, Peter Gillette, and uh, Morgan Burnett. This Bud Dupree is, a, is, a, is going to be the user player probably for me uh, because he's got 91 speed. He's got 93 acceleration. He's six foot four, 92 hit power. This Morgan Burnett, though, is actually, well, actually, he's not as, as, good as, as good as he will get later on in the season so we're going to leave him to the side and the junior galette doesn't have speed so this is kind of an easy selection for me we're going to go with bud dupree and that's going to give us a really good user linebacker all right so here this alshon jeffrey really is a no brew selection here's why he's got 80 route running his speed while it's not very good he has the catch and traffic and catch to go with that he's way better than greg jennings because he has the same stats just way better catch and traffic and better route running these linemen like i said i don't value them at Honestly, to be frank, I know Problem Right does value the linemen. Personally, I value my skill position players much more. Uh, so here we have Ryan Tannehill as a quarterback. I'm going to have to pass on him. Here's why. Uh, normally, you're going to be able to get a quarterback later on. You know, normally you at least get two shots at a quarterback. And he's got 75 deep throw accuracy, just not very good. But we do have two really good skill players here that can do two things for us. We're going to grab Damon Harrison. Damon Harrison's got the 97 block shed rating. He's going to help us stop the run. We're going to utilize him in our defense. All right, we come to this section. And yeah, this is pretty much an easy selection. I don't want to take linemen. I want to take receivers, running backs, that kind of thing. With this specific lineup, if I would have had better silver players, I might want to take... Uh, I, w I might want to take some backs or some, or excuse me, some linemen or, or whatever, but I just don't. I don't have that luxury. All right, so in this situation here, we get this Glover Quinn. This guy, this Glover Quinn is a very special item because he has 91 known coverage at that position. He's going to do you really, really good. Uh, and I'm looking at my safeties here, and I see that I have Sean Williams, who I know from just you know knowing the game, he's not that great. I got the black guy who's pretty decent. And then I got Phillips, who I don't really like him either. But I do have this Tom Bahali card. And because this Tom Bahali is actually really, really good for setting the edge in the running game. And we've already got that Tank Carradine card. So what I really want to see, but we also have Brandon Graham. So we're kind of set right there, so we don't really need him. And then uh, this Jay Spear Paul, in my opinion, just not a good enough block shed. Uh, not a good enough everything else. And we're going to go with Glover Quinn in this situation. And in this situation right here, uh, Byron Maxwell is that 90 zone, so we could put him at the other safety. Uh, Robert Blanton doesn't really, he's not really that good. But Woodyard has 86 zone, 88 hip power. Uh, you're trying to think what kind of formation are you going to use. And to be quite honest, I don't really know that I'm going to, with the Minnesota Vikings, utilizing a lot of nickel packages and diamond packages. Uh, I may even drop into some 4-3, so I'm going to need at least two linebackers for that uh, as far as, like, up top linebackers. So we're going to need uh, – we're actually going to probably need this West Woodyard card in this situation. It's a really sucky draft, I feel like. All right, so round 13 to 15, and here we got to make a selection. Do you go running back, wide receiver, quarterback? We're going to pick up Drew Brees in this situation. Uh, even though Pierre Garçon and Aaron Foster are really good, we're going to take Drew Brees. kind of have no choice. Uh, with the way that we drafted so far. Hoping for a running back later on. Okay, so here uh, we get a chance to get Andrew Hawkins. Now, if you guys know anything about this Andrew Hawkins card, he's a really, really good kick returner. But, again, you have to be smart with your picks, and you can't really waste it on a kick returner, in my opinion. And then here we have uh, Antonio Smith. Now, this Antonio Smith card has got some hidden stats, uh, 89 strength and 93 power move, but his block shed is awful. So we're going to have to go to Ladur screen. Uh, this guy's a really fast tight end. He's at 92 speed, uh, but he also has 88 spectacular catching. Kind of a sucky pick, but we're going to have to take him really a choice. And here in our Legends round, we have one final pick. Uh, we get Rod Woodson or Sean Taylor. I mean, this is pretty much no brainer to go Rod Woodson in this situation. 
Uh, nobody else really is going to do anything for you. So we're going to go with Rod Woodson. All right, guys, so that concludes our draft. Got pretty good time in in this one, and we're going to go ahead and get into some games in the next video. So be sure to subscribe. Come back tomorrow.